everyone and welcome back as always i'm your girl candy washington and before we dive into today's key key which is sheena shea staying winning that's right this whole temporary restraining order has been dropped it's been dismissed it's been tossed out she's been vindicated and it seems as though raquel has been as we've all known has been proven to be a liar and that she lied about the whole her being punched situation but before we dive into the details you know what to do go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live also be sure to share this with a friend because a kiki is always better with community check out the description box down below and join our newsletter it is 100 free so that you guys let's dive right on in so what happened today which is the day that um it was the hearing that Sheena Shea and Rachel Raquel was supposed to have regarding the temporary restraining order. And this was supposed to be the hearing to say whether or not it's actually granted as a permanent one or if it will be dismissed. And obviously it's dropped, it's dismissed, all good. And what went down today really kind of confirms the theories that we have been having. But let's dive in. So this is according to page six. It says Vanderpump Rules star Sina Shea was photographed leaving a Los Angeles courthouse on Wednesday morning following Raquel's request to drop her restraining order against her. All right. Sheena, it goes in to talk about what she's wearing, which is great, blah, blah, blah. The former BFFs were scheduled to appear in court on Wednesday to hear Raquel's case seeking a permanent restraining order against Shea. Raquel, however, did not show up as she previously stated that she would not be pursuing a permanent restraining order and letting the temporary one that she was granted earlier this month expire. When Rachel realized that she would lose in court and that she couldn't just drop it, she decided not to show up at all, Shay's lawyer told Page Six on Wednesday, using Raquel's real name, which as we all know now is Rachel. Here we go. Raquel's rep argued that Shay and her legal team were, quote, notified during the reunion taping last Thursday that, that Raquel was dropping her request. However, Sheena's lawyer claimed that his client was served a letter with no legal meaning and the case was still on the court calendar. The court was notified by Raquel's counsel that we were not attending and are not moving forward and we had filed the paperwork requested by the, the court clerk, which has been stamped and received, Raquel's rep claimed to page six. Now, what that is getting into is the fact that Raquel Rachel had Andy Cohen serve Sheena Shea, like, fake documentation saying that she was dropping the temporary restraining order. But like her lawyer said, it wasn't stamped by the clerk. It really had no legal, legal meaning or bearing. It was more performative and just a stunt. And I think the reason why Raquel Rachel's lawyers wanted to do this prior to the hearing was because they realized or they knew that it would be found out that Rachel Raquel was lying, just like Sheena Shea's lawyer said when she realized she was going to lose in court. And I also think when the lawyers realized, hey, perhaps we have submitted, you know, false documentation, you know, is the photo she provided of this alleged black eye of this alleged scar, you know, as it was shown, she had the scar one day, it wasn't there the next, her ex friend came out saying these are old photos, and that she also and that she has been seen previously having that discoloration under her eye more as just like a skin discoloration, not the result of a black eye. And she also claimed that she was punched. Now, what I have been saying and a lot of us have been saying is that something happened, but that Raquel Rachel exaggerated it in order to milk it, in order to make an opportunity out of it. And if she's told the LAPD, if she's told the, you know, California courts that she was punched and that this is what happened to her. But the truth is, Sheena just pushed her. Not a punch. It's still assault, but it's very different. Sheena admits, just like we all said, something happened, but it wasn't this that happened. Sheena admits that it was a push, not a punch. Now let's get to that part real quick. And then we'll get into why, again, I think the lawyers didn't even show up, okay? Now, let's go. Sheena's lawyer previously denied that Shay hit Raquel, but he admitted the former actually pushed the latter that night. Sheena didn't punch Rachel. Rachel didn't get a black eye, he said. 
Sheena pushed Rachel, but only after Rachel grabbed her wrist and Rachel did not suffer a concussion. This is what we all have been saying. I said that from jump. I said I think there was probably a scuffle, which is what this is. Rachel grabbing her wrist. She's pushing her off of her. There's a scuffle. It wasn't this punch. It wasn't this black eye. It wasn't this scar over her eyebrow, you know? And I think that her legal team realized we've submitted bogus documentation. We've submitted false evidence. There is a fake re a police report. This is illegal, and this could get us all in a lot of trouble. That's why they wanted Sheena to admit that she punched her. That's why Sheena said, no, I'm not going to admit that. Because if they got her to admit it, to admit that she punched her, even though they know that she didn't, then they are no, then they think that they're off the hook you know, from lying to the police, from lying to the courts. Now, the question is, I think from a ethical and maybe even a legal standpoint when it comes to her lawyers who didn't even show up to the court case, is did they know at the time that they were submitting false evidence? That's the question I would have. You know, I personally don't think the state of California is going to really investigate or look into this. I think it's just going to go away. They have bigger fish to fry. But for us people who are following Vanderpump rules, that's the question I would have from this perspective. And I think that's why the lawyers were like, you know what, before the reunion, let's just squash this. Let's never talk about it again. You guys can do the reunion. Let's let it go. Because they did not want to get called out in court that they had submitted old photos, doctored photos, false evidence. They didn't want the smoke to blow back on them. Now, whether they submitted it knowingly or not, I don't know. I, at this point, whatever. But I think that's why they were trying to drop it prior to the reunion. And I also think that's why they didn't even show up. They're just like, let's not even have to be held accountable for this. So this really vindicates Sheena. It confirms what we all said before. Yes, there was a scuffle. Lisa Vanderpump even said it. There was some type of scuffle. But it wasn't this punch out fight, concussion. I need to go to urgent care. I have this black eye. I have a scar over my eyebrow. It wasn't all of that. And clearly they submitted false evidence. And that's why the lawyers were like, we ain't even showing up. We have actual things to lose. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. You know, do you think this really vindicates Sheena? I think it really does. I think it proves that Rachel Raquel was lying the entire time. Also in the photos, it seems like this is a different nose, whether it was her original one or not. Who knows? She's not wearing makeup. So I'm not sure. There's contouring and all of that going on. But you know what? Queen Sheena came out on top. I'm really happy that she did not cave and just say whatever they wanted to say in order to get it to go away. I'm happy that she said, no, I'm going to have my day in court. I'm going to tell the truth and I'm going to be vindicated. So you go, Sheena. I'm really excited for that for her. Um, and yeah, any other questions or comments you guys have about Vanderpump Rules or anything Bravo or reality TV, drop them down below. But before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out the description box down below and join our newsletter. It's free. So with that, you guys, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.